continues with Monday Matt. Now look, folks. I had said yesterday, it's over with Jarbo. There's no sense talking about fucking Jarbo. It's been done to death. He's a broken and beaten man. Just let him live in obscurity or whatever the fuck. But as I listened to this video by Jarbo yesterday or whatever the fuck he put this crap out, I couldn't hold my tongue. I just had to fucking dunk on the class retard. The fucking dumb shit Jarbo that he fucking is. We all know he's the biggest cuckold, the biggest soy boy, the biggest faggot going, really. But this video that he made is not only the most hypocritical fucking video you'll ever see in your life. Of course there's that. But it's also just on another level of delusion. It's on another level of fucking retarded. And I just wanted to quickly, quickly go over this fucking video. Because I just think it's fucking hilarious how desperate this fucking guy is. He still thinks he's gonna make it, guys. He thinks that he can, he thinks he can clickbait his way to making it again because Warner Brothers is silencing him. He's speaking the truth to power against Warner Brothers. And Warner Brothers is gonna shut him down. They're gonna silence poor Jarbo, the common man on the street. The man who's just trying to make ends meet—they're gonna—they're—they're they're, they're putting, they're persecuting our man Jarbo. He's being fucking silenced. He's being flagged down by Warner Brothers, folks. Now, if just the idea of Jarbo complaining about flagging causes you to tilt your head back in uproarious laughter, then this one might be for you. Otherwise, who really gives a fuck? But, you know, <laughs> we're going to get into this one here. It's the mundane madness. The madness of Jarbo. The delusions of Jarbo. They continue to this fucking day. When will he give up? When will he fuck off? God only knows. But let's remember that PPP uses the G slur and needs to check himself before he wrecks himself. Going up against King fucking Jarbo. Up on his mighty boulder fucking throne. Stay in your fucking lane there, Jarbo. I don't know. Let's go. Let's get into it. Let's kill the fucking track and let's get into this. So let's look at this video. Let's look at this video here. Just look at the title first of all. WB Warner Brothers is trying to take down my channel for discussing the Snyder Cut leak. So right away, it's just total fucking clickbait. He even he will admit in this video later on that Warner Brothers has no fucking clue who Matt Jarbo is. Warner Brothers has no investment in Matt Jarbo. Jarbo doesn't fucking matter. But in his delusional world that he believes... That fucking Warner Brothers is coming after him and he's going to clickbait it that way. Why? Because he's desperate to get any sort of audience. And he's hoping he can replicate, replicate Zoe Quinn flagging him down from the past. Please, guys. Please. I've been flagged down. I've been flagged down. I've been silenced. You need to rally around me. This big corporation with more power than me is oppressing me. It sounds like a situation from about two years ago there, Jarbo. Where there were about a dozen people that you fucking flagged down because you had more power than them. You had a verified check mark in an audience. But when it happens to you, I mean, the jokes fucking write themselves here. It's fucking obvious. But just listen to the fucking bullshit he gives us here. Just fucking sad. Just sad, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it appears that Warner Brothers is coming to take out my channel all because I talked about their screw-up over the Snyder Cut leak, all of that and more, right now. So, just listen. Listen to how he phrased that, folks. It looks like Warner Brothers is coming to take down my channel. The delusions. Warner Brothers themselves... 
There, look, the executives fear him because he talked about their screw up. It has fuck all to do with you talking about their screw up there, fucking Jarbo. It has everything to do with you posting footage from a movie that's not out yet. That's what you did. That's why it's been taken down by a fucking automated robot that takes down leaked footage of a movie that isn't even fucking out yet. But you're the victim. You're the victim somehow here. The reality of it is, is you put that in. You put that footage in knowing it would get flagged down. Because you wanted it to be flagged down so that you can play the martyr and the victim. Because let's assess this claim. That because that video got copyright struck down, his channel is fucked. Right? Like, let's look at the viewership of some of Jarbo's most recent videos. Is this actually a negative for him or is it a positive? So we look here, 821 views, 1.3 thousand, 951, 675, 858, 9, 910. There's one that's 3K, 1.7, 731, you know, there, so there is 3.9. So the, the most viewed video on his channel in the last two weeks is this one where he plays the victim about how he got flagged down. So it doesn't hurt his channel. It's not taking down his channel. He wanted to be copyright struck down so that he, so that he could claim the fucking victim, so that he could claim the fucking victim and tell us all how Warner Brothers is oppressing him so that he could try and clickbait an audience. And it's desperate and it's fucking sad. It's fucking sad. And he's the last person that should be doing this. The very last person. And that's the reason it won't fucking work. It's because everybody knows Jarbo. Everybody knows what's going on here. Knows is exposed, Jarbo. Knows is exposed. But it just gets more and more retarded as it fucking goes along here in the Jarbo video. So we're going to play through this video and commentate on it a bit. But that's the bottom line on this. In seven minutes here, the bottom line is <laughs> that Matt is playing the victim here. He wanted his own shit to go down because it gives him views. You know, it's obvious. Doing holy here, fuck happy again I just holy shit you just have to pause it because every time you see the visage of mundane Matt it's just as shocking as the first time look at him look at him holy fuck Th there are no words needed to describe this man he is the epitome of the icon of soy he just is that 40-year-old consumer fucking man-child. And you just want to kick the fucking shit out of him. And his intro, I say inappropriate things. No, you fucking don't. You say whatever the algorithm will give you views, Matt. Matt. That's what you do. You're a fucking loser, bro. Holy fuck. Let's, let's, I was just flabbergasted yet again by the appearance of Jarbo. But here we go. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you guys doing? Matt Jarbo here at 3 by Theater. And I'm not happy today, if you guys can't tell, because uh, I, I am now legitimately... Is there ever a day when Jarbo is happy? Is there ever a day in his fucking miserable life where he's north of 40 years old, with an ugly fucking wife, with children he raises that aren't his, with a failed fucking YouTube career, where everybody considers him to be a fucking joke... Where this guy comes on and tells us he was a fucking Me Too victim of a woman who groped him who was eight years older than him. You know, is there ever a day in this guy's life that he is happy? You know, I, I, I just don't think there is. Maybe it's when he gets a fucking Funko Pop. That's when he has a happy day. When his wife lets him purchase the latest fucking Funko Pop for $13.95. You know, he had to deliver fucking 10 people food to earn that $13.95. And beg his wife on his fucking hands and knees for permission. Because we all know you can only film. You've told me personally, you can only film when your wife lets you. But that you say that makes you a real man. Because you take on responsibility 
Responsibility for children that aren't your own. Responsibility for fucking an ugly wife. You know, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is, bro. I'm worried and concerned about my channel, considering what is going on with it today. I'm so worried and concerned for my channel, guys. <laughs> like, what a fucking tragedy it would be if the fucking Three Buck Theater channel went down. The real library of Alexandria that is the fucking Three Buck Theater channel. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, I'm so worried. You're not fucking worried. You know it's just a copyright strike. It doesn't really affect fucking jack shit. You know, he'll go on to tell you, oh, I can't live stream, I can't live stream. That very night, he does a live stream over on the Matt Jarbo channel. So his livelihood isn't threatened by this at all, either. It's just fucking bullshit. It's just bullshit, Matt. Like, everything you fucking say. Because everything you say isn't said because you believe any of it. It's said to fucking make a nickel. So that you can fucking afford the latest Funko Pop. Oh my god, it's the new Ray Funko Pop. This time, she has the yellow saber. I know I already have five of her with the various other fucking sabers and costumes, but this is definitely going to be worth the $15 and the fucking three hours of groveling to my wife to be able to buy it. Jesus. <clears throat> we know that a couple days ago, the Snyder Cut was accidentally linked over to Tom and Jerry on HBO Max. I talked about it in this video here. I have since blurred out what I believe to be the offending image, which is something that was posted on Twitter uh, as a result from someone who brought this to light, a guy by the name of Doug. And uh, so I, that video got hit, as well as uh, my live stream discussing the ramifications, possible ramifications, from that particular accident, that oopsie, on behalf of Warner Brothers, on behalf of HBO Max. I didn't leak it. It wasn't uploaded illegally to the internet. It wasn't shared illegally to the internet outside of people on Twitter who were taking <sighs> clips and sharing that around. No so, again, it might not be criminally illegal to share this leaked footage, but I'm going to probably tell you they don't have a right to do it because it's Warner Brothers intellectual property. Warner Brothers made the fucking movie. They own the movie. They own the rights to distribute the movie. Nobody else has those fucking rights. The thing is, the movie isn't fucking out yet. The movie isn't even out yet. This isn't a situation back in the day, Nostalgia Critic or Cinema Snob or that guy, all the that guy with the glasses people would say, well, this is fair use. I'm not, a, I'm not exhibiting the whole movie. The movie fucking came out 30 fucking years ago. Nobody fucking pays any attention to it. You made all your money out of it. This is an incredibly risky venture for Warner Brothers that they've sunk like $100 million into these reshoots for the fucking Snyder Cut. They'd like to recoup their investment. There was a fuck up on HBO Max and shit got leaked. And you're exacerbating that problem for Warner Brothers. You're making it worse for Warner Brothers. You're making it harder for them to recoup their investment. So do you know what Warner Brothers is going to do? They're going to flag down the leaks so the movie doesn't get fucking spoiled for people. And they can fucking contain their money. It's not, it's not fucking rocket science here, Matt. It's... And it's an automated bot. It's not Warner Brothers targeting you, but he'll admit that. Oh my God, it's... Oh my God, guys. It's not right. It's not right, guys. I, I know copyright law better than Warner Brothers. Listen to him. Listen to his confidence and his, his legal knowledge. None of which I showed, but I did showcase a single frame of Cyborg uh, from a leaked shot as a way to validate the leak's existence which is more or less what they're going to try to argue was in violation. That doesn't count. Under U.S. copyright law, oh. if I recall correctly, definitely under, under fair use. It's if, if he recalls correctly, if he recalls correctly under fair use, bro, do you think the Warner Brothers legal team doesn't have a right to, they would just do this without any legal standing or rights whatsoever? That they would just, you know, the, the lawyers are like, oh, fuck, you know, we're going to just break the fucking law and take these videos down unfairly and risk a fucking lawsuit. 
You're telling me you know the law better than Warner Brothers because you can reference a 1976 law, the fair use or whatever the fuck? It's just fucking nonsense. It's fucking retarded, Matt. It's retarded as fuck. Why are you going to sit here and cry? Look, man, it'd be one thing if you weren't Matt Jarbo, but you're Matt Jarbo. You fucking flagged down dozens of people. And now you want to cry out that you're the victim. You're the persecuted one. When you're fucking screwing over this company <laughs> that, you know, uh, you apparently claim to love and support. I don't know. But if I recall correctly, there was an old 1978 Supreme Court case where we can, it was basically ruled that if an item is leaked, if a document is leaked, anyone has the ability to discuss it, to disseminate it, to showcase it, simply because, it, it, unless they are the ones who did it. I didn't leak it. This was a screw up on HBO Max's part. Anyone who had access to the service for two hours had the ability to go in and watch it, not minutes, but two hours had the ability to go and find it. That's why one of the reasons why we have all this leaks. Look, people are saying, oh my God. Oh my God, how can you, how can you defend the big corporations? Oh my God. Oh, he had a right to this. Listen, man, I'm just pointing out, this guy has no fucking idea what copyright law is. He has no idea how the legal system works. So I say, I have a fucking, I'm not a lawyer, but it's just pathetic for this guy to sit here and be like, yeah, I know I definitely had a legal right to do this. Even though hundreds of people who've done this have had their videos taken down by an expert legal team at Warner Brothers. I don't know. That we do. And some company called Mark Scan Enforcement is, uh, is this. So this is what they do. Their content protection solutions provide broad-based coverage to ensure minimalized availability of pirated content i didn't pirate any content i didn't oh. find this in the illicit bowels of the internet <laughs> i didn't pirate anything it's just leaked footage that i'm distributing i found it on twitter i had no idea even though i discussed the ramifications for it in great detail of the footage being leaked oh come on Matt, put your fucking money where your mouth is. Sue Warner Brothers. Sue them on your fucking Uber Eats paycheck. Or shut the fuck up. Because the reality of it is, is you have no legal rights to that footage. The movie isn't even fucking out, bro. The movie isn't even out. And you think that you have a legal right to show the footage? No. That's not how any of this fucking shit works, dude. And, and it's like, oh, I have a right to make a living covering the movie news. Who fucking gave you that right? The reality of all of this bullshit is that the moment the studios or the video game companies want to shut down Let's Plays or want to shut down these reviews, they absolutely fucking can. They absolutely fucking can and they absolutely will. Does that, oh my god, oh you suck and you're licking the boots of the corporate overlords, dude. I don't fucking know, bro. It's just the law. It's the way it fucking is. Woo! This is stuff that was floating around on Twitter publicly that I did not post. Therefore, it falls under several fair use laws, as well as the general idea for commentary, critique, education, and criticism, which is something that I absolutely did. And this is ridiculous. Now, they say that the research shows that most consumers of pirated content reach pirated content through search engines and social media. This prompted us to design our solutions to address both the source of pirated content as well as these accessibility channels available to the user. Again, at no point did I leak it. At no point do I have a copy of it anywhere. I'm waiting until next week to watch it like anybody else. And I didn't do it. So this is fraudulent. This is fake. This is trying to hurt my channel. According to oh my God. Uh, these copyright strikes, I have to go to copyright school. <laughs> well, how many, but how many people did Jarbo send to copyright school? How many people did Jarbo fuck over with copyright strikes or flagging their videos for harassment or, or bullying or flagging them for fucking God knows what? How many times has he done that? Watch him fucking claim this video for his copyright, right? That's how Jarbo rolls. That's what he fucking does. 
I just can't feel sorry for you, bro. I just can't fucking feel sorry for you. Nobody should feel sorry for you. You can fucking cry as many tears as you want about how unfair it is. But ain't nobody going to have any sympathy for you, motherfucker. It's the world's smallest fucking violin for Jarbo. Seriously. Uh, which I will have to do. I have, I have filed counter notifications and I have emailed the company to, uh, to demand that they take this down. <laughs> and uh, I cannot live stream. I cannot live stream. I've emailed the company, guys, to demand that they take it down. I have a right to show leaked footage of this film. I have a right to abuse Warner Brothers and make money off of them. I'm legally entitled. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, I don't know when. Maybe it will be June. Maybe it will be when I finish the copyright school. But for right now, I am not able to, I'm not able to live stream. Live streams on this channel are make up a considerable amount of the income that I earn. Well, wait, wait a minute. Like, when he says a considerable amount of the income that he earns, like, is that like six dollars or nine? Like, nine dollars forty cents? Like, the live shows he does on Three Buck Theater, I don't think any of them have ever earned him more than thirty fucking dollars. Like, it's a substantial part of the income I make. Like, if that's a substantial part of the income you make, maybe you should get a real fucking job, bro. Like, you, you make like five bucks a fucking stream, bro. Like, get fucking real. And then at the same fucking night, the same night on which our savior, Lord and savior Jarbo was betrayed by Warner Brothers. He was streaming on fucking Matt Jarbo doing boulder talk, collecting super chats anyway. So don't give me this fucking bullshit, motherfucker. Don't give me this fucking shit. You're making three bucks a night on three bucks theater. Congratulations. Huge source of income there. Warner Brothers. <laughs> Warner Brothers has oppressed you, bro, because you spoke truth to power, bro. Come on. A considerable amount of the income that I earned because YouTube has been terrible due to advertising revenue in the, in the wake of COVID and the shutdown of uh, movie theaters and a lot of entertainment being kind of up in the air. So advertising dollars have in fact decreased. So thank you, Warner Brothers. Oh my God, the advertising dollars. They're decreasing. What advertiser dollars, bro? Doesn't YouTube pay you per thousand views? Most of your videos don't even have a thousand views. Like, what do you get? Like, two dollars per thousand views? Like, fuck, man. Half your videos don't even have that. So what are you talking about ad revenue? Oh, my God. The ad revenue rates have gone down from two dollars and forty cents to two dollars a video. Oh, man. YouTube's really fucking me over here, guys. Oh, you know. Nobody gives a fuck. You know, you used leaked footage from a fucking movie. Whereas I don't have sympathy for you. A movie that you say that you want to promote and support, right? But you're going to let people know it's been leaked and spoil it and potentially fuck up revenue for them? You know. I've been an, an ardent supporter of the Snyder Cut since November 24th, 2017 when I first learned of the hashtag. Yes, yeah, I, I've been critical of you guys. Sure, I've been critical of you guys, definitely. Uh, because I feel like that's the best way to hold... But it has nothing to do... So it has nothing to do, Matt. It, it has nothing to do with you criticizing Warner Brothers. Zero to do with that. Warner Brothers isn't watching your videos. At all. No one is watching your videos, frankly. But the reality of it is, is it was this Mark Scan company or whatever the fuck who have an automated bot that picked up on all the leaks and took all those videos down. It has nothing to do with you being critical or supportive of Warner Brothers. And the idea that because you, he's going to say like, oh, I had an HBO Max subscription, so I'm entitled to this. No, you're not. Just because you've given Warner Brothers a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars does not entitle you 
to steal from them. It doesn't entitle you to steal from anyone. At all. Ever. Hold you to account for some of the nonsense and tomfoolery that I see coming out of your company. But I've still very much supported uh, the brand and supported a lot of the content. I've been paying for HBO Max since last year, since May of last year, waiting for the Snyder Cut. I've only used the service a handful of times. The only movie on there that I've watched, I've watched two movies in the last 10 months, Ready or Not and Wonder Woman 84. Oh, no, sorry. And I watched that Studio Ghibli one, uh, Your Wig and the Witch. I've so watched three movies on there and some John Oliver and some TV shows, but I've barely touched So them. he's paying like $20 a month for this service. He's paying $20 a month for this service for the last year to watch three movies. What an idiot. Folks, it's just fucking retarded. And he says, you know, it's to help the Snyder Cut. How does that help the Snyder Cut? How does it help it? It's the only thing that's going to help the Snyder Cut is the subscriptions the month that it's on the service that it's gained for HBO Max and the people who watch it on HBO Max. Those are the metrics that will help the Snyder Cut. Having the service for the last year doesn't help the Snyder Cut in any way. In fact, it kind of harms the service because if you're going to have the service anyway, even without the Snyder Cut and pay for it, if you're going to pay for something that you don't even use just for the sake of paying for it, then how is that going to help the Snyder Cut? It's not going to help the movie. It's not going to help the movie. And just because you threw $200 at Warner Brothers, does, again, doesn't give you the right to steal their leaked footage. And you say you want to help this movie. It's not helping the movie. It's not helping the movie in any way to let people know, hey, there's spoilers out. There's leaks for it. The cool shit that you were hoping to see that you might subscribe to HBO Max to see this cool shit in the film? Here it is for free on my channel. That doesn't help Warner Brothers. <laughs> it's, it's, it's asinine. It's ridiculous. The fucking stupidity and the delusion never ceases with this man. But I've been giving you my money because I've been supporting the Snyder Cut. And now you guys are coming in and you're screwing me over. And it's not just me either. The guy who posted the original image. They're screwing you over. How are they screwing you right over? On the left is HBO Max. This is his original posting. And uh, it says media not displayed. It has been removed in a response to a report from the copyright holder. And then he says, really? A stolen clip? If I, if it, is it stolen if I press play in a service I pay for? And your service, HBO Max, provided the incorrect data stream? Right? This is, you know, again, another person... So, the thing is, you pressed play, this fucking guy, he presses play on the Tom and Jerry movie, and it plays the Snyder Cut. And he's saying, well, it's not stolen then. Well, you know, I tend to agree with you if all you did was just watch the Snyder Cut. But you didn't. You recorded the Snyder Cut, you took screenshots of it, and then you uploaded it and disseminated it to everybody on the internet. That's where the issue comes in, you fucking retard. It has nothing to do with the fact that you accidentally were able to access it by clicking on Tom and Jerry. And then this idea, oh my god, they better be more worried about it was an R-rated movie being shown on a kid's feed. Oh. Okay. Like, it's a fucking service that requires a credit card a deb or a debit card to access. It's for adults. It's HBO. Are you really going to let your kids go on HBO and watch anything they want on HBO? Watch nudity? Watch whatever? No, parents are not just letting their kids have unfettered, unfiltered access to HBO. And if they are, then they're fucking bad parents and it's on them. That's not on HBO. That's not on HBO. If, it's just crazy. A good parent wouldn't do that. And a bad parent, it's their own fucking fault. Who's backing this up? This is what's going on right now. 
this is ridiculous, and now I just have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully, they'll come to their senses and they'll overturn it. I have tweeted about this. They'll come bit. to their uh, senses. Why would they? Why, why would they overturn it? What benefit does it have to Warner Brothers to overturn it? Because you're not going to cancel your HBO Max subscription. You're not going to refuse to watch the Snyder Cut. You're not going to do fucking shit. You're still going to watch every DC movie. You're still going to buy all the fucking merchandise. And so is everybody else. There's no financial incentive. There's no PR incentive. There's nothing for Warner Brothers to turn this over. What, the fucking 200 dedicated fans of Three Buck Theater are going to fucking stop buying Warner Brothers products because of Jarbo? No, they're not. So why are they going to come to their senses? The sensible decision is to shit can your entire channel. That's the sensible decision for Warner Brothers. Just to shit can your entire channel. They probably could. They probably have enough copyright grounds of the footage that you've used of their shit to fucking shit can your entire thing. Straight up. That's them coming to their senses. And I'm a little bit, you know what? I mean, I'm hoping that some people will help me by retweeting it. But in the meantime, it's like been kind of silent, which is kind of funny. <laughs> I'm hoping some people will help me on Twitter. I'm, I'm really hoping that somebody, some people will retweet it on Twitter. But it's silent. <laughs> it's silent. It's silent. But it's pretty funny. I think it's funny. You're, look at how salty he is. Is he fucking... It's like, I think, I, I think it's pretty funny that nobody will retweet my plight. Makes sense. Uh, I, think, I think people who, uh, uh, who are going to the premiere, who have a voice, have a platform within this movement, maybe haven't said anything because they don't want to risk angering anyone there until afterward. I get it, though. Well, uh, well, hold on. Would Matt Jarbo stand up for anybody else? He's asking for people in the Snyder Cut community or movement People that have channels uh, magnitudes larger than Jarbo, people who are actually entertaining, people who have connections in Hollywood, people who have careers to lose, he's asking them to put it all on the line, to sacrifice all their relationship with Warner Brothers to help him. But I tell you this, if Matt Jarbo had any Hollywood connections or anything, he wouldn't risk a goddamn fucking anything to help anyone. That's just the reality of who this fucking guy is. He's a complete coward. He's a fake ass motherfucking person. He'll sit there all the live long day when he's oppressed saying, please, please support me, please. But the moment that somebody else would need help, he would be silent as the grave too. So fucking live according to your own standard because we know how it is with you, Matt. We know you'd never stand up to anything more powerful than yourself. Ever. You would never risk any sort of financial punishment, ever. Because you're a shill. You're a fucking... You're, uh, it's just pathetic. He's a coward. He is. And that's always been my biggest issue with this guy. is just that he's a total cowardly bitch. Who doesn't express his own true opinions. Who, who, who hides everything that's true about himself to present a fake aura for money. And then he tells you... That it's the responsible adult thing to do to be a cowardly, cuckold, bitch, faggot. And that's the problem I have. Because that's not, that's not reality. Um, I get it. You know. But uh, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that this is happening. So, uh, in the meantime, here's the deal. If you guys want to help out, I'm not asking you to go to my Patreon. I'm not, I'm not asking to become a channel member. None of those things. Because it is what it is. Right. <laughs> but by mentioning your Patreon and, and your memberships, I mean, you're shilling them. So you, you are asking people to, you know, subscribe to your Patreon or whatever to give you money. Does this guy even have a fucking Patreon? Is he allowed to have one? You know. You gotta open your wallets because I'm being oppressed. Give me money. I'm being oppressed by Warner Brothers. Turn off that pesky ad block so I can make two cents, please. I can make two, but I, I am 
asking that you guys check out uh, my Potio commentary channel, which will be linked in the video description. This is my new pet project. I don't show assets. This is a podcast that I do where I talk about production history of films. I do not show assets. So the likelihood of getting hit with a DMCA claim or a fraudulent takedown is very low. And I was actually going to... Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing, Matt. If you're not using their footage and, and this sort of stuff, what sort of viewership does that get? I'm guessing nobody fucking watches it. Because the only reason anybody watches anything you make is because it's clickbait for an algorithm. That's, that's, that's it. Nobody is going to sit down to watch your audio commentary on a movie if the movie itself isn't there. Nobody's going to do that. But, you know, it's good for you moving away from stealing other people's content to make money off of it. Good for you, bro. But we'll see how many people actually... Nobody will watch it. Nobody will watch it. Released uh, an episode on Man of Steel uh, this Friday. Batman v Superman next Friday. And then I was going to wait until the end of the month on my birthday, March 26th, and talk about Justice League and its production history. And how we finally got to see it. I was going to dedicate... Folks, I was... I, I nearly about had a heart attack. He says his birthday, March 26th. And I was... Oh, fuck. Thank God mine's on the 28th. Can you imagine if I shared the birthday with Jarbo? It's a little bit too close to home, really, that he's that close to my birthday. <laughs> no! Okay. The remainder of the month to promoting Zack Snyder, his films, and Warner Brothers and HBO Max and give them some extra boost to where I possibly could. Because that's how much I care about seeing this thing. Discussing it being leaked within the parameters of, of a screw up within the company should not put my channel... But you didn't just discuss the screw-up of the company. You showed footage. You showed footage from the leaks. And you made it aware to everybody that it was leaked and that you could go find it. And you directed people to where they could go find it. It wasn't just discussing that they screwed up, bro. It wasn't just that. At risk, and it's absolutely despicable that they're doing that. Is it despicable? Does it really fucking matter? Does it actually really matter? And this is coming from a guy who gets strikes all the time. Who might get a strike for this video today. I got a copyright strike on uh, the Baked Alaska video on the Social Justice PPP channel. Uh, you know? Is it, oh my, it's despicable. Oh man, this is terrible that this... And that was way more fraudulent. It was by somebody who didn't even own the, the rights to what they were claiming. It was just by a random groiper who claimed some a cappella music that was done by a church, you know? It is what it is. You just have to fucking deal with it. It's not despicable. Oh my God, it's despicable, it's evil. Even that act isn't even that fucking evil. But here he is talking about how that's despicable, right? It's despicable for Warner Brothers to have taken down his video. But was his behavior when he flagged everybody down despicable? Will he own up to that? Will he own up to when he flagged Dame, he flagged all these fucking people? Weren't they trying to just make a living as well? So is he despicable? Is he irredeemable? Because that's what he's trying to say about Warner Brothers here. I don't know what to say. Please rally behind me. Start a Twitter hashtag. Now, I'm not going to try to play some kind of conspiracy theory game here because I, I can tell you probably it's an automated thing. This Mark Scan company probably just went on in and saw me talking about it and saw just the image that was on Twitter that was floating around and then took it down. That's well, did you hear what he just said? Look at the title of the video. Warner Brothers is trying to take down my channel for discussing the Snyder Cut leak. And... Here he is in the video admitting, admitting that they have no idea who he is, that this was an automated system. So how is it despicable? It was total clickbait. You fucking bastard, you piece of shit. What can you fucking say? Probably what happened. 
all right? But at the same time, this is where the content ID, the copyright laws, the copyright rules that YouTube has are terrible and they are fundamentally against the creator who is who does things within the realm of fair use. Uh, it's, it's just disgusting. It's disgusting. But anyway. I think your face is disgusting. I think your whole personality is disgusting. I think the way that Matt Jarbo lives his life is disgusting. I think this idea that, you know, you should just be this cuckold consumer who the only thing in your life that matters is Marvel movies and whatever fucking bullshit entertainment Hollywood puts out. You spend your whole life obsessing about that and obsessing about purchasing the merchandise. You'll do whatever it takes to continue a flow of income to be able to purchase said merchandise. So you have zero principles or zero morals, zero conviction or courage to stand up for anything because you believe in nothing. All you believe in is consuming merchandise and raising another man's kids. I think that's disgusting. I think everyone agrees that that's disgusting. But that guy, that man, wanted to judge me because I used the word gook. I think... I think you're disgusting, Matt. I think so. It's just fucking madness from this guy. Uh, again, if you guys want to help out, literally just audio commentary is it. I will link to it in the video description as well as the comment section. In the meantime, I just have to wait and see, uh, which sucks. Because I was going to like stream uh, tonight, actually. And, uh, you know, about this, I, whatever. He still streamed that night. He still streamed that very I'm night. Just, uh, I'm disappointed. I'm not happy with it. But you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let it destroy my day. I'm just gonna say my piece on it, and uh, and then I'm, I'm. You know, I don't know. All right, guys. I'll, I'll um. I'll talk to you all later. If you guys want, please retweet this. Uh, tag HBO Max. Maybe we can help out. Whatever. Tag HBO Max. Please, guys, help me out. Just tag HBO Max. Make me the figurehead of a movement, guys. Look at his face here. Holy shit. Look at him. I'm not going to let this ruin my night. Look at him. Like, that's a look of despair. That's a look of utter despair. And, like, it's just like his dog has died. Like, his family members have died. Look at him. Holy fuck. Jesus, man. So that's the, the situation with Matt Jarbo. You hate to see it, folks. You hate to see it. And he went on, and I'll show you. He went on that night to stream for three hours about how oppressed he was. That same night, this fucking video, stupid DMCA claims Boulder Talk Radio, March 10th or 11th or whatever it was. I mean, look at this. He's sitting here, the cringiest shit I've ever seen, doing this garbage boulder talk show with this anime avatar tranny fucking co-host. I've mentioned this before when it comes to like reporting a video yourself. You, you report it, it goes to a third party, that third party determines, then that's it, right? Like, that's about it. Like, that's his show. It's just fucking, we're not even going to bother watching any of it. But that's his show. That's the tragedy that we would have lost. Which we didn't even lose, but the tragic live stream that we would have missed out on because of Warner Brothers' evil of defending their intellectual property. <laughs> you know? We would have missed out on that show with the fucking tranny anime avatar fucking idiot. Wow, what a great fucking loss to humanity. Yeah, you know, I understand, folks, that this is Matt Jarbo and we're beating a fucking dead horse. But sometimes when he gives a fucking take that's that nuclear level retarded, you have to fucking shit on it. And the guy tried to fuck me over. He tried to turn crowd against me. He tried to be the big master that controls shit. But you're nothing. You're fucking Jarbo. Bro. Fucking stay in your lane. Shut your fucking mouth. Fuck off forever. Go do something in the real world. Nobody cares for your presence on the internet, bro. 
Nobody wants to watch your videos. Other than fucking not hugging faggots like that anime avatar that are desperate for even a fucking crumb of clout. So they suck you off and send a $5 dono, bro. It's over. It's been over for years. It's time to move on, Matt. And that's why it really is the mundane ma madness. It's the insanity of doing the same fucking algorithm clickbait, unentertaining garbage over and over and over again, day after day, wasting hour after hour of your life trying to recapture the heights that you will never get to again. And it's sad. And it's pathetic. And it's disgusting.